have a 55-year-old uh, male here who has diabetes and he has the classic uh, diabetic ulcer. So we're choosing Dermagen, which is an excellent option to try to enhance healing, to speed this process up and return people to an enjoyable working lifestyle. Proper wound bed preparation is essential before Dermgen application. This includes control and elimination of infection, removal of wound debris such as keratosis, necrotic, and slough tissue with a sharp scalpel, and cleansing with sterile solutions such as sterile saline. Use of iodine solutions is not recommended. Debride the wound area to deliberately expose a bleeding base. This ensures that Dermgen is in contact with healthy granulation tissue in order to promote wound bed adhesion, early incorporation, and new tissue growth. Select a Dermgen graft that is the closest match to the size of the wound to be treated, with some overlap. Peel back the non-sterile outer package. Remove the inner package using sterile gloves and forceps. Using sterile scissors, cut the inner package and take the Dermgen graft from the pouch using sterile forceps and place into a sterile dressing tray or onto a sterile mat. The graft is provided in a hydrated state and does not require rehydration. Dermgen is provided with a basement membrane surface that repels blood and a dermal surface that absorbs blood. One of the keys to this product is um, putting it down on the correct sides. When the basement membrane is on the upper surface, a small V-notch will be located in the upper right corner of the graft. If you look closely at this, this side is shiny. You, you can see it's glistening with the notch up. We can flip it over, you can see it's a little less shiny there when it's flipped over. Dermgen may be cut to fit the dimensions of the wound bed. It can be temporarily applied to the wound to check sizing. The blood patch on the dermal surface will assist trimming of the graft to the correct size. I'll make this a little larger than the blood would show me because I want to make sure I have full coverage and then I can alter that once it's on the wound if need be with a scalpel. Ensure that the graft extends three to five millimeters past the edge of the wound bed and trim any excess. And I don't think it matters if it's a little too big if the, uh, if the device is not stimulated by the patient's own biology will likely necrose and not compromise the results. So if you had a choice, bigger is maybe a little better than smaller. Blood will penetrate through the natural pores in the graft. This is normal, expected, and desired, as blood products and cells work in concert with Dermgen to heal wounds. And you can see how the Dermgen product nicely adheres to the ulcered area. If used properly, Dermgen does not need to be secured with sutures or staples to the wound site. I'm pretty happy with that application. I think that gives us good coverage and, like I said, bigger, if anything, around the edges. It's a robust uh, graft material, which is good. If Dermgen does not adhere securely to the wound, the wrong surface, that is, the basement membrane side of the product, may be in contact with the wound and should be changed to the dermal side. As a secondary check, try rinsing with sterile saline or buffer. Blood on the basement membrane will not stay if rinsed. Okay, so next, the, the other great part that I like about Dermgen is the aftercare is pretty straightforward. The best secondary dressings provide a non-adherent layer and promote moisture balance. For example, a Mepilex border. Too much moisture will cause maceration. A dry gauze wrapping around the dressing is recommended. This should add slight pressure to the wound site in order to prevent movement of the graft during the first one or two weeks of healing. So pretty straightforward and we'll be looking forward to the results in a week's time. Uh, no one more excited than the patient. Proper offloading of the wound during healing is also required. This may be accomplished using a total contact cast, removable boot, or properly fitted orthotic. This week, if we can really ask you to stay completely off of it. Yeah. If you walk on it, you'll ruin it and it just won't work and it will be set back another week. Short-term pain for long-term gain. Yeah. Dermgen usually requires only one application. On average, 50% of the wound should be healed within two weeks after treatment and complete epithelialization achieved after three to four weeks. Assess weekly to monitor wound healing and any potential adverse effects. Do not change dressing more than once a week to allow the graft to be incorporated and remodeled by the wound bed. Do not soak the wound area. Aftercare factors are important in achieving the expected outcomes of Dermgen treatment. They include family support, 
when the patient requires assistance with self-care, including wound and diabetes management. Access to wound care services to provide follow-up. Access to wound care resources, such as appropriate secondary dressing. There are some patient-related factors that may delay healing with DermGen. These should be monitored and addressed by the healthcare provider before and after treatment. They include the patient's willingness to follow instructions, regular attendance at wound care appointments to help detect signs of wound deterioration or infection, access to and wearing of offloading devices, control of chronic conditions such as diabetes, and elimination of other factors such as smoking. There are a few potential adverse effects of Dermgen. They include maceration, a specific or nonspecific immune response, a graft infection or graft resorption, or graft non-integration. If adverse events do occur, it is usually within one or two weeks after treatment and will stop once Dermgen is discontinued. It's very simple, straightforward. The ease and the speed of application, it's safe, and in the early studies um, do show that it improves wound healing, getting these wounds closed and faster to get people back to a, a more enjoyable, active lifestyle. I think it's a wonderful device to, to improve healing in our patients. For more information about DermGen and how it can help heal your patients, contact D-Cell Technologies.